This is her hair from the front that defines curls to the side, which we didn't define yet. So you can already tell how beautiful these are gonna dry. So this is my beautiful model slash sister Marissa. She has very, very curly hair and it's very, very thick. She has a lot of it. And using the products that we have today, we're gonna give her a really pretty elongated curly updo for the holidays. So for this look today, we're using my two favorite Matrix Total Result products for curls. The first one is Curl Please Super Defrizzer Curl Defining Gel. And the second product is Curl Please Contouring Lotion. The Super Defrizzer Curl Defining Gel, I like to put that in when the hair is wet and I just put that everywhere. And then with the Curl Please Contouring Lotion, that's when I like to take each curl and kind of elongate them. So you'll see how I use these products as I do the look. So this is just a pre-shampoo. Get really in there. And this is our second shampoo. This is gonna go in a lot smoother and easier. And when you're working with curly hair, or if you have curly hair, you know you really have to get in there and it's more about cleansing your scalp, especially with all the product built up. So I get really, really in there. Curly hair is the best when it's nice and clean. You don't wanna leave products in there for too long or pile up products on top of products. And what I like to think about it is, for the most part, like less product is better, less is more. So now we're just putting in the conditioner, starting with her ends and working it way into the scalp. And the key to having your curls come out amazing is you want to use something that is very, very hydrating, something that's not too heavy and doesn't weigh the curls down. All right, now we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes. Also, what I do like to do when I'm working with curly hair is because the ends tend to be a little dry, I just like to go in and just kind of detangle, but without using a brush when it's wet. So also make it easier for when she is done and for me to just, in general, to brush through it while the conditioner's in there. And you can already see the curls just like popping out. And I'm very gentle with it. I'm not like ripping through her hair or anything, but this is a good way to get some knots out. So you can literally see, now I can like put my fingers through this without a problem, compared to this side that I didn't get through yet. And you can also see the difference in the curls. Okay, so her conditioner's out. I went through and like fingered through all of her curls. You can see how long her hair stretches to. She has really long hair. And now since her hair is still wet, I like to put in the defrizzer. It gives curls definition while not making the hair crunchy. It also smells like life. It smells so good. And I'm just gonna run that through her hair just while her hair is wet. And this is also gonna help not make her curls frizz up. So with this product, I am very liberal with it. So what's really important with curl products is that the first ingredient is water. It'll be very moisturizing. So I'm gonna go and put a little bit more underneath. And again, I'm doing this while her hair has water in it. You can see that there's some moisture that bubbles out. And you can already see her curls are like back to life a little bit. All right, so now she's in my chair. And we're gonna go in with Curl Please Contouring Lotion by Matrix Total Results. The defrizzer is already in her hair. So we're just gonna kind of put this on top of that and we are going to set each curl with this product. Okay, so I did not towel dry her hair. Her hair is just super curly and it just needs all that moisture. So now I'm gonna take the Curl Please. I'm gonna put some on my hands. I'm going to rub this all over. I'm going to comb through some of the curls in the front. And what I'm basically gonna do is put this product in her hair. I'm gonna hold the curl at the base and I'm just going to twist the curl in the direction that it's already going in. But taking a bigger curl piece will allow us to separate the curls later after we diffuse it and it not be frizzy. So we're basically gonna keep going all throughout her head and it's gonna be just very random, just kind of like wherever you see the curls bunch up together. I still have products on my hands, I can feel it. I'm doing it around three fingers because her hair is kind of longer. So I'm just wrapping the curl around my three fingers and this is just gonna help set the curls. If you feel like your hands get stuck, that means there's not enough product on your hands, and there we go. Now you have three beautiful ringlets there. We're gonna go around her whole entire head and do this to all of her curls. So I did this whole side already, so you can see how elongated her curls already look. And you see after, when her hair is dry, you can see how there's this curl and this curl. You can split them apart when her hair is dry. And that's gonna have two different curls. And if you do that to a bunch of the curls, it's gonna make her hair look a lot fuller. And again, you wanna make sure you're doing this too when the hair is still really wet. Um, it's good to keep a spray bottle 
next to you so that way if the curls do dry up whether you're doing this on yourself or on a client you can just spray it down their hair and this is her hair from the front that defines curls to the side which we didn't define yet so you can already tell how beautiful these are gonna dry once we start to diffuse them if you don't set them then you won't get the strong curl that we want for this look all right so here it is this is her hair all set you can see each curl is like really bouncy it looks like it's full of life they look like little baby ringlets but you would never know that her hair is this long with how she normally wears it. Her hair is beautiful naturally, but doing this will just bring more definition to her curls. And this will also stay like this for a few days, which is really nice. And now what we're gonna do is diffuse it. So when I diffuse, I use my Dyson and I diffuse on low and low heat. And basically I like this dryer because number one, it's super quiet. It blow dries really quick and I feel like it doesn't make the hair frizzy. So her her hair is now all diffused. If you did see the way I was diffusing, I wasn't going in there and scrunching her hair. I was just kind of like grazing it over her hair because I don't want to mess up these beautiful curl patterns that we made. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through these. We're gonna pick them apart and make her have more volume and give more life to her hair. And then we'll do the styling. It's really important too to make sure you focus on the scalp area when you're diffusing because if this up here is still wet, when you go to style, or when you go to take these apart, it's gonna get really frizzy and we don't want frizzy curls. But they dried beautifully. I'm very happy with this and this is gonna make a great set for a beautiful up style. Okay, so now that her hair is all dried and diffused, I'm just gonna go through curl by curl and I'm just going to take some apart. This is gonna give more volume in her hair. And remember, you only wanna do this when you know that the hair is all dry. So make sure they're all going the same way because that's the way that they were wrapped up at. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is decide which part we're gonna keep in the front and what part's gonna stay in the back. I basically want everything around her ears from her ears forward in the front. We're just gonna pin it all up and connect the bobby pins in an X formation. Okay, so we pinned up all the back. So now what I'm just doing is I'm going in through on top and I'm just gonna pin up some curls here so she has some volume along the top. Okay, and here's the final look. We popped in a headband and now she's ready for the holidays, New Year's, and her hair seriously looks like 10 times longer than what it was before, which is nice. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it.